Hi, you're welcome to my tutorial today. Thank you for joining me. And today I'll be considering a right cone which is cut at a particular point. Now the from the question given, the figure below is the frustrum of a right cone. And we are expected to draw the given view. This view that we're given and the plan and the true shape of the face AB. Now the information given unto us is that the base of the cone is the diameter of the base of the cone is 76 millimeter and the height is 100 millimeters. Then at the point, the height at the point where the cone is cut is 50 millimeter and at that point that's the angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal so now we're going to start with this now we we'll draw a horizontal line and mark a point and we use the radius the radius of the compass to be 76 millimeters so as to mark the point so that we can be able to get the point ab so now after marking this point we we'll get the diameter of the base of the cone which is 76 millimeters so after doing this we have the point AB so we we'll bisect the line AB so that we can be able to get the central line with this central line we can be able to get um, the vertical height of the cone which is 100 millimeters so now we do this so now from this point we we'll mark the 100 millimeter point then we also get the point where it, the cone is cut which is at the 50 millimeter mark so after marking the point 50 millimeter then we'll be we'll connect from the apex to a then we we'll also connect from the apex to b then the next thing is to draw the line at the point where it is cut at the 50 millimeter mark so we draw the line there then now this at this point will darken our shape so that we can be able to see it properly so now we've drawn the front elevation so the next part is to draw the plan so starting with this we're going to draw the horizontal line so drawing the horizontal line then from there we, we take the radius of the base so the radius of the base is going to be 38 millimeters so at this point we draw the circle then the next thing is going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts so we divide the circle into 12 equal parts using our set square so we divide it then we will label it so we've labeled it from 0 to 11 which is the 12th part then from each of the markings each of the points we'll draw it we extend project the lines to the base of the cone so from the plan to the base of the cone the central line which is uh, three and nine is already drawn so we don't need to draw that again so make sure your lines are faint they're not dark nor bold so now we connect from the base of the of the cone to the apex so from the base to the apex so that we can be able to get our construction right so now from this apex down to the base or from the base to the apex it will still give us the same thing so that our work will be accurate now remember that the the apex here is the virtual point but this darkened side is the real part of our shape so now where these lines touch 
the place where it is caught, which is first run. That's where we pick our major points and we label those points. Now, from that point, we extend, we project the lines to the plan. From there, it will give us the shape or how to view it from the plan. If not, we'll not be able to get the accurate view of the face that was being cut. So now we project the lines down from the front elevation. So after sending these lines down, we're going to label this point where it's meeting the plan and this point where it is cut into 12 equal parts. So we start labeling each of the points where the point where it is radiated from zero to the front on the plan to the front elevation we're going to label every one of them so now we start the labeling we mark the point and we'll also label it so that we'll be able to bring out the locus of our view now mark this point because it's moving from zero moving on the plan then it's going to meet it on the front elevation then follow the line down now remain looking at it we are skipping the line for three and nine because we're going to get the actual position from our front elevation at this point where the central line is we're going to draw a horizontal line to the edge of the cone so now after drawing it, we use our compass, the center and the, cen the center of the compass there, we put, put it, then we transfer that length, that measurement to the plan. Thereby, we'll be able to get the actual point where the, the cone is cut. So now, after getting all these points, we're going to connect each one of them using french curve or flexible rubber to connect every one of them so this will give us the locus so now i used raster to do this because it's not going to come out but you are expected to use hatching lines at an angle so on so that it, you emphasize that point so the next thing we have to do is to bring out the true shape. Now we're starting from the central line, the central line from the plan, from the front elevation. So we extend this line uh, perpendicular to the face AB. So now after projecting that line, we now come and get the perpendicular line to the projected line. Then now we going to extend or project this point that we got initially this blue point on the front elevation and let's label the lines 0 with 3 6 since it's so that it will correspond with our line from the plan so the first thing is we're going to use our protractor the vertical distance on the plan that is how we transfer that same length onto this construction here so the vertical line to the edge of this locus that we've produced on the plan that is how we we'll do to get each one of the points there so you can see zero and the point six are at the center point which is the same with that of the plan so we'll connect all these points then we'll have the true shape the true view of the locus from the front elevation when you're looking at the plan the way it's going to look like exactly on the face when you're looking at it so now after getting it we'll give it a hatch hatch it then we have this thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel thank you